Hello, and welcome to another edition of Data Spaces. My name's Garrett. I'm really excited to introduce and demo some new updates to our AI prototyping tool that will enable businesses to build responsive e-commerce enabled landing pages in minutes using OpenAI's GPT-3. So today, we're gonna generate a high fidelity mobile web page for an online course about data visualization and storytelling. Then we're gonna download the code. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is fill some initial requirements about the page that you wanna build. So our product and service is a data storytelling and visualization course. Our product category is education. Purpose of the page is to drive user enrollment. We wanna optimize for data storytelling course and our company URL, we're gonna use data narrative. Okay, so let's generate that. Okay, we're in the canvas. Now let's try saying something. Okay, underneath here, you'll see some examples. And so I really want to try and make it easy for people to be able to build web experiences using natural language. So I've included some handy examples to help you generate different types of web components. Let's generate our first one. Hey, computer, can you generate a nav bar with a CTA to log in and links to About Us, blog services, and contact? All right, hit generate. And there we go. You can see it grabbed our logo from our web page. There's a CTA to log in. And those are the links we requested. Amazing. We can edit those later. So the next section we want to build for our web page is a hero section. And a hero section typically involves uh, a headline about the benefits of using your product or service, some sort of call to action, and uh, an image. Let's try saying that. Come in here to our handy examples. New hero section, please, with a CTA to enroll today, an illustration of a woman giving a presentation, and benefits that speak to building your data storytelling skills. Generate. Learn how to transform raw data into engaging stories. Amazing. And there you can see it has enroll today and the picture of a woman giving a presentation. That's amazing. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do with this page is we want to make it e-commerce enabled. Right, so let's add in a Stripe payment link right here and edit this button. There we go, apply changes. There we go, e-commerce enabled web page. That's amazing. Um, next thing we can do is we can come in here and we can, we can generate some more headline ideas. I actually like this headline quite a bit. I'll probably edit it maybe a bit later. But if we wanted to just generate some other ideas around say maybe master, data visualization, we could do that. Learn to tell data stories with their own graphic format. Hmm. Get the power of data storytelling. Data storytelling 101, learn how to visualize your data. That sounds good. Okay, let's just keep what we have. That's great, but these are great ideas. They just help you uh, with your copy. Okay, so the next section that we want to do is we want to create a uh, new client section, right? So the client section shows uh, all the people that use your products and services. So we can create something like that. There we go, new client section. Okay, so you can edit this. You can edit those logos. We'll do that later. Uh, the next section I like to build is a value prop section. We come in here and we can add that in. And let's let's edit this, right? We don't want AI to do everything, but we can certainly build publication quality visualizations. Perfect. Okay, so we got that. That's a nice headline. Uh, maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll keep it, keep it at that size. Okay, we can come in here. Let's just edit our call to action again. All right, enroll today. Add in that Stripe link. Boom. Okay. Uh, now, next thing we do is we can change our image. So we're an affiliate partner with iStock by Getty Images. So you can. Search for some really good high quality images. I like vectors. Let's search for those around big data. Find something we like. That looks pretty cool. Let's add that in. Okay, so we got about three or four different types of components right now. This is looking really good. 
Um, the next thing I would think a user would want to know is a little bit more about the curriculum. So why don't we try and uh, generate a curriculum using an accordion section? So let's do that. All right, so accordion, we'll say create an accordion section with a title called curriculum and an outline for a Python for data science course spanning five chapters. Okay, let's just say this, this is a data storytelling course. I use Python. Okay, there we go. Generate. Okay, so here's a, a curriculum, Introduction to Data Storytelling, the importance of storytelling and data viz, data viz with Python, storytelling with data and design principles, and final project. That's actually a pretty decent outline. Um, we can edit this later. Um, great. So next section that we want to build is, let's build a pricing section. How much is this course going to cost? All right, so let's do pricing. Here we go. We'll say a pricing section with CTA to enroll today and a price of $100. There we go. All right, there's our pricing sections looking pretty good. Got the $100, got the enroll today, CTA. You can add in some benefits later. Perfect. Okay, so um, next thing we would want to do is want to try and reinforce uh, the value of the course through some sort of customer testimonials. I love testimonials on web pages. They really help drive up conversions. Um, if you have some great customers who are willing to give that feedback, that's fantastic. Uh, let's try saying that. So let's just add in some testimonials, please. Okay, we have some testimonials. Um, so these are just, these aren't real. <laughs> these are just uh, fake testimonials that you can edit. Um, so just trying to give you a good template that you can use to showcase some of your customer testimonials. Okay, so web page is looking pretty good right now, but maybe this isn't the course for you, right? Maybe maybe you're interested in other courses and you, or you want to showcase other courses. Let's do something like that where we can maybe create a feed of other courses, a feed titled Other Recommended Courses with Illustrations of Big Data. We can add in that. There we go. We can edit those kind of links there and we'll just add in uh, one last thing. We'll just add in a footer as all web pages should have a nice footer. And there we go. We've managed to build a first draft of a web page on your mobile, entirely on your mobile phone using natural language, which is pretty amazing. Uh, let's go into this side menu over here. Just want to direct your attention to the images, purchase iStock images. You can click on that and it'll give you uh, an aggregated list of all the images that you have generated here. So you can easily go and you can purchase them through iStock, which is fantastic. I encourage you to do that after, after you've completed your page. And next thing that we wanna do, obviously you wanna have analytics on your page, right? You've created this web page, you wanna be able to measure performance. So let's create some analytics, add some of that. Uh, right now we have GTM and Google Analytics. Uh, I love both of those services. And we can just add in our uh, GTM ID if we want. So there we go. We'll just add that in. Just hit save. Um, and last but not least, let's do a little bit of SEO work um, where we can just kind of edit our meta title and description. This is how our page will show up in Google search results uh, potentially. Um, so we can have uh, GPT-3 generate some ideas or we can just edit some ourselves. So uh, let's just have GPT-3 generate a quick idea. Okay, there we go. Data narrative, data journalism, and visualization course. Pretty good. Um, maybe we want to change that a little bit. All right, it's just a data visualization course. say storytelling. Okay. Apply. Data. Narrative. Perfect. And there's a course summary, including course goals, what you'll learn, and who should take the course and how to get started. Okay, that's, that looks good. Okay, so that's just a draft, right? It's just a draft that we've just created. We could save that. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Let's, let's download the page, hit generate. 
Okay, your prototype is now ready to download. Let's export it. I'm gonna download that file. I'm gonna open it up. And there we go, here's our webpage. Learn how to transform raw data into engaging stories. Have our clients, we got a, we got our whole page that we just kind of built. So we have a nice, nice first draft that we can, we can use. And like I said, this is an e-commerce enabled web page. So we can click on our CTA and it takes us to our Stripe checkout, which is fantastic. Perfect. So that, that is prototyper. Um, I'll leave a link in, in the comments below and the description so you can check it out. Please would love your feedback and, uh, yeah, looking forward to continuing on iterating this and thanks for your time and for watching. Bye.